uh, Seth, because most of you uh, works in many different things not related with this. This is another challenge. And the, the last is because I'm an agronomist talking about biodiversity in Colombia. This is a big challenge. Um, the, the outline of the presentation is when a, a, a little overview about global environmental challenges. Uh, how to reconcile production system with nature. This is my, my main job. Uh, and show you a case study in the Rio de la Plata grasslands. In this case, with a, a, a productive proposal, regenerative livestock uh, producing in Uruguay. And uh, a little comment about how to measure biodiversity, how to integrate assessment uh, in, the, in the management of, of the livestock system, and how to integrate in the, in the value chain. And uh, very, very light, uh, some examples of other production systems that can integrate biodiversity in the production. And the first, when, when people think about environmental problem, uh, uh, perhaps the first thing in the mind is global change. Global change is, a, is real, it's a problem, it's an environmental problem, but it's not the only one. And the um, greenhouse gas emissions uh, is probably the, is in, in the press, is in the, in the nets, is uh, in social nets. But in the case of agriculture, only 12% of the contribution of all, all global uh, greenhouse uh, emissions is from this sector. Then, of course, it's important to work in this, but there's many sectors of the economy that are contributing more than agriculture. But we, if we analyze how we are uh, trying to, to, to lead with the planet, uh, we can see that many uh, of the limits of the planet for, for maintain, for sustain the, the life, we are overpassing this. And of course, uh, global change is in, in, the, in this line. But if you see uh, in the biodiversity aspect, we are very far uh, over the, the limits of the planet. This is our region, uh, Rio de la Plata grasslands. It's an important grasslands region in the, in the, in the world. Uh, the whole Uruguay is included a big part of Argentina and the south of Brazil. And in this context of the, this biome, for, for us, the context of, of productive systems is that a livestock production system, mainly ruminants, are based on ancestral native grasslands. They are been there by millions of years. The systems are mixed system, free grazing, uh, combining cattle and sheep. This is uh, the, the norm. And uh, some time ago, uh, people that was uh, the, the, the editor of this book invite us to, to write a chapter about how to reconcile the design of livestock production system with uh, the preservation of ecosystems. We did this and now we are trying to go in there because we are uh, trying to, to, to do this in, in the countryside, in the producers, in the farmers, and really to change uh, the realities. And we developed this uh, proposal, the regenerative livestock production uh, for, for Uruguay. There's many uh, ways of uh, focus in livestock production and many ways of focus on regenerative production. Well, we try to, to, to give... Uh, a clear content to this. The proposal is based in, in two uh, main things. First, a lot of techniques, technological development that we have for producing beef, sheep, uh, cattle in, in pastoral systems with the focus on preservation of natural grasslands. The other important thing is co-innovation process. We work with this many years, and it's the way, like, combine development of technology in academy 
but very close to farmers, very close to producers in the field. This is a, a, a costful uh, strategy, but uh, it's very in interesting the results of this. We combine this and design a proposal that combine many things that are uh, typically used in sustainable development, social and economy, but in this case with a strong focus on environment. And I will talk about the diversity part or biodiversity part of, of this environment focus. We uh, start a lot of a uh, year ago studying uh, many indicators of, of the production system, but always following international consensus indicators. This is important because of our market, it's in all the world, we are exporters, and we uh, have to use indicators that the world recognize and use. We participate in the development of these guidelines, in the uh, LEAP guidelines that works in the FAO uh, uh, conditions. And we, we did the, the, um, the road testing of this guideline in, in, in some uh, case studies. We do many studies, but uh, now I'm only including the, the, the things we are including in livestock production system, that is mapping of ecosystem in each farm. We use um, an indicator that we developed some years ago, a ecosystem integrity index, that uh, let us to, to know how is this, this ecosystem, uh, studying structure, species of vegetation, the state of the soil, the state of streams and riparian zone. And we obtain a numeric indicator that uh, we have a global value for all the farm, but also we have value for each paddock or uh, management uh, unit decision. And we can also separate this in the dimensions, structure, species, etc. We also study uh, some communities. We study a lot of uh, kind of, of groups, spiders, plants, birds, uh, fishes, etc. In this case, we include birds because have many advantages, are more charismatic, easy to, to, to see, they, they sing, this is important for for a study, and uh, we uh, use a, um, a technique that is McKinnon list, and we uh, walk along all the ecosystems of, of the farms and detect what species uh, are living on, or in, in these systems, but not only richness and the, the diversity index, but we know also how they live, what are the, the uh, trophic gremies, uh, what they eat, how they live, etc. And also we determine in this uh, complete list priority conservation bird species and can eventually have a special management for looking for these species. Uh, don't take care with the graphs, are very complicated, but the, the conceptual thing here is key, that now we know more about how livestock management affect grasslands, how this, how this management affect the productivity of livestock, but how this state of the grasslands affect the communities of birds. Then now we can take decisions about the management more informed than uh, some years ago. And then I uh, want to show only one example of combination of the practices in the, in the in the management of livestock production system and the results in environmental indicators. For example, this practice, stocking peel uh, forage, is thinked by uh, livestock nutrition management and let's have more resilience. It's a, like a insurance in the system because of draft, because of any uh, climatic crisis, but if we have a, um, a farm with the, the baseline, uh, environmental baseline, we choose one paddock for, those, for doing this management. And we have, of course, per, uh, increasing in the productivity because we uh, closer the, the grazing in this, in this paddock, 
uh, grass start to grow, but this increased the, the, the tax of growth also. Not, not only the accumulation of biomass, but also the, the productivity, the primary productivity increase. But also this reflects in some indicators like the uh, ecosystem integrity index, because we have an improvement of the structure of vegetation, we have an improvement of the covering of the soil, then the risk of erosion go down, and we have an improvement in the structure of vegetation of uh, riparian zones in, and streams, and this is an, an improvement also for, for the indicator of the index. Additionally, we create species habitat for some endangered species because they need tall grass and uh, dense grass for nesting. And additionally, we create the condition for uh, improving the soil of the health in terms of fauna, macro mesofauna and biology and mi microbiology, and also increase carbon stock in the soil. We can sequestrate carbon because of uh, applying this, this management. Then uh, we try to, to, to conduce this to a uh, uh, an increasing of value in the markets, because it, this is very important for the economy of farmers, and of course for the economy of the country. Um, in this in initiative, Today, the, the ship sector is uh, already um, in, in some interchange with the global market, but especially with the with very famous farm uh, brands, sorry, like Gucci, the pilot farms we we, we start now are all of them uh, exporting wool to, to to Gucci, and this uh, uh, farmer. Gabriela has, has uh, the recognition of the Sustainable Fashion Award for the work in, in this uh, ecologically uh, sustainable uh, system. And now this brand, international brand, is um, going from Nativa to Nativa Regen and increasing the productivity in those kind of, of systems. But not only the, the wool sector, also the beef sector now is starting to migrating some uh, brands of uh, uh, high quality meat to Viva Regen, that is a brand of, uh, where beef come from regenerative system. We start with these red points, the, the, the first pilot farms, and we continue now growing. Now we are in a recently project working well with uh, 126 more farms, and we are uh, uh, waiting for the, appro the, the approval of a new project for work with 100 more. Uh, in livestock production system, in our livestock production system, it's a reality. Now we are uh, working with farmers, improving biodiversity conservation, and having more value for, for the products. But it's also uh, possible for, for other production systems. For example, dairy. In our case, this is more, more intensive in, in terms of use of, of land. But for example, we can introduce small forests of native trees for shade and shelter for, for cows and uh, make a contribution for uh, wildlife because of, of those trees. Also, working the connectivity of forest in river forest in, the, in, the, in those farms. That is a uh, it's it's a problem in some part of of the of the country because we miss connectivity. But some uh, farms can do it. It try the, to reconnect the forest uh, along the rivers. And also in more intensive uh, vegetable uh, production system, for example, fruit production system. That now some part of the industry is going to introduce. Uh, grasslands, polyphytic grasslands in the between the files of, of the, the trees. And in terms of research, we are now uh, researching about wild flora for introducing more diversity in, in those systems. And probably this will be the, the next landscape in Binance Yards in, in Uruguay. I hope uh, also in, in other systems. 
they can also do special areas for 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 conservation uh, wetland forest grassland for for us it's very important to to preserve grasslands because it's our real amazonas in our region are grasslands not forest forest is only five percent of the of the native vegetation and then as final consideration uh, i have to 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 give some key mis messages uh, many environmental challenges must address by the production system the uh, greenhouse gas emissions are important but are not the only one Bio biodiversity is one of the aspects most impacted globally at least at and, and the least attended in the in the production system and probably outside the the the, the production system also uh, biodiversity is necessary is important for the sustainability of the own production system but also for is essentially for us for we need a lot of ecosystem services that depend on biodiversity some production system for example extensive pastoral livestock uh, have greater possibilities but uh, many of the production system can combine things management knowledge technology for uh, making contribution to conservation of biodiversity and the redesign of production system using science as information source as and the, the valorization of the, the the going deep in the valuation chain chain of, of products is really important for having truly sustainable systems and uh, assure to to preserve to conserve biodiversity but also to preserve the 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 way of life of farmers and people that live from uh, production system uh, 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 production system of food but also fevers uh, like in the example of, of the woods thank you very much for your attention and i hope you understand something of, of the message explora más contenidos de tu interés no olvides suscribirte a nuestro canal